हेलो बच्चा पार्टी हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर एट मैपिंग योर वे इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मैप थ्री दैट इज रूट ऑफ द परेड एंड मैप फोर दैट इज मैप ऑफ द रेड फोर्ट ओके नाउ फॉर मैप थ्री दे हैव गिवन अस सम इंस्ट्रक्शन लेट्स रीड इट waiting for the parade while waiting for the parade kancha and some of his friend wonder where this parade ends kancha is carrying a newspaper in which the route of the parade is written so from newspaper now they are able to find that the route of the parade that is where this parade starts and where this parade ends okay bachcha bati so the parade started vijay chowk after that it visited rajpath then india gate then tilak mark then bs jafar mark after which it will reach subhas mark and finally the parade ends at red fort the children look at this map to see the route of the parade okay after which they are telling us to mark the route we have to mark two route first is trace the route of the parade in map 3 and mark india gate and rajpath and second they are telling us to look at the map carefully and find out which of this is the longest road okay so here map 3 is given where we have to mark the parade route and india gate and rajpath so the parade start at vijay chowk as you can see in the bottom let me zoom for you now you can see it clearly so from newspaper we know that the parade start at vijay chowk and the star mark given it is the vijay chowk and the road between the india gate and the rashtrapati bhavan is rajpath road we have already seen in the map 1 okay now as the parade start from the vijay chowk we have to trace the route of the parade for that you have to make line like this so the parade start from vijay chowk then it will reach india gate and from the india gate it will follow the tilak mark road okay as mentioned in the newspaper so after tilak mark the next destination is b s jafar mark that is nothing but bahadur shah jafar mark so as we have traced the tilak mark last after tilak mark the next destination is bahadur shah jafar mark the parade will route on the bahadur shah jafar mark after that it will follow the subhas mark okay as mentioned in the newspaper and finally the parade will reach the red fort as you can see the star in the map of the red fort so the parade will start from the vijay chowk then it will reach the tilak mark then after that it will reach the bs jafar mark after that subhas mark and finally parade ends at red fort in this way you can trace the route of parade now we have to trace the rajpath and india gate so the road between the rashtrapati bhavan and india gate is nothing but rajpath and the star mark at the end is nothing but india gate okay and now next question is to find the longest road out of the option which we have given that is subhas mark tilak mark and bs jafar mark that is bahadur shah jafar mark so let's see the map in which we can find the longest road or not so the tilak mark in the map start at the end of india gate so here is the tilak mark as you can see in the map tilak mark from where the bs jafar mark start bs jafar mark start from here and ends at here and after which the subhas mark starts so here is the tilak mark after which let me change the color here is the bs jafar mark 
and finally we have our subhas mark okay now to find out which of this is longest we have to use scale on this map so if we measure tilak mark using scale then it is around 4 cm then bs jafar mark is around only 3 cm and the subhas mark which we have measured more than 5 cm so the longest road will be subhas mark okay bachcha bati now the next question is if rubia is coming from jama masjid to join the parade guess about how far she will have to walk now for that we have to again see the map and we have to locate where is jama masjid so as you can see here on the map the jama masjid is here that is between the subhas mark and from where rubia will join the parade okay and for that we have to find the distance of jama masjid to subhas mark that is which distance i am talking about only this distance we have to find okay only this distance we have to find from jama masjid to subhas mark okay bachcha bati and to measure that we have to use scale and after measuring scale your distance will be around 1 cm or 1.1 cm okay write anything and it is given in your textbook that 2 cm is equal to 1 km okay so what will be the 1 cm it is around 500 meter only is it clear bachcha party so the next question is the total route of the parade is about how long so again we have to measure the map using the scale so the parade has started from vijay chowk then tilak mark then bs jafar mark then subhas mark and it finally end at red fort so for that we have to use scale and measure this distance and if you measure the distance it will be around 60 cm okay where 2 cm is around 1 km so for that 16 cm will be 8 km we have just divided 16 by 2 okay so this friends are discussing something let's see what they are discussing hey see that india gate and this is rashtrapati bhavan and the long road between this is rajpath one of the friend ask let's guess how many kilometer long rajpath is then one of them is told my mother told me it is 2 kilometer from vijay chowk to india gate and then on this map it is about 4 cm so 4 cm on the map is same as 2 km on the ground why you are right see it is written at the bottom of this map we have to take a 2 cm is equal to 1 km that we have already discussed now let's go further as the parade pass by they see some children coming on an elephant these children have got bravery award they also enjoy the colorful dances and the aerobics by the school children so what is bravery award the award given to children or some people who has done now they want to follow the parade to the red fort gappu has seen red fort before and tells them about his trip now let's see the next topic that is trip to red fort gappu said when we reached the red fort there was a long queue for tickets the main entrance called lahori gate after entering it we turned left into the long corridor with the little shop on the both sides this called meena bazaar and i bought some lovely bangles for my sister you can go straight through the nakkar khana and reach diwan e aam 
दिस इज वेर द किंग यूज टू मीट द कॉमन पीपल दीवान आम इज द प्लेस वेर किंग यूज टू मीट द कॉमन पीपल वॉकिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द दीवान आम वी शो अ रंग महल इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल बिल्डिंग देर वेर थ्री मोर बिल्डिंग्स ऑन आवर लेफ्ट साइड लुक फॉर दिस ऑन द मैप ओके इन द पिक्चर दे हैव गिवन न कारखाना वेर ड्रम्स वेर बिटन टू शाउट आउट द किंग्स मैसेज ओके देन वी वॉक लेफ्ट फ्रॉम द रंग महल आफ्टर दैट द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दीवान खास दीवान खास वॉज वेर द किंग यूज टू मीट हिज मिनिस्टर एंड अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पीपल इम्पॉर्टेंट पीपल आर ऑल्सो नोन एज खास पीपल वी विल फाइंड ऑल दिस प्लेसिस इन द मैप फोर ओके बच्चा पार्टी इन शॉर्ट गप्पू हैज गिवन अस जर्नी टू रेड फोर्ट सो वी हैव टू ट्रेस दिस प्लेसिस ऑन द मैप ओके बच्चा पार्टी can we map all this places on the map 4 let's see so this is the map 4 which is the map of red fort as you can see in the bottom there is a lahori gate after which there is a mina bazar then nakkar khana diwan e aam moti mahal rang mahal and here it is aram gah and this is diwan e khas then ammam and lastly moti masjid and on the top left there is a yamuna river on the upper part there is a ring road and at the bottom there is a subhas mark as you can see in the map and the scale is given 1 cm is equal to 100 m okay bachcha party now let's see what are the question which of this is near to the river yamuna the diwan e aam or the diwan e khas so out of which which is nearer to the yamuna river can you tell me whether it is diwan e aam or diwan e khas where is diwan e aam and where is diwan e khas on the map so as we can see from the map the diwan e khas is near to yamuna river okay now let's see the next question between which two building is a aram ga so we have to look for a map and we have to see aram ga is in between rang mahal and hammam as you can see here rang mahal and hammam okay so aram ga is in between hammam and rang mahal let's see the next question which buildings do you pass while going from rang mahal to hammam so if we are going from rang mahal to hammam which building we pass through so from map we can say that it is aram ga and diwan e khas now let's see the next question what is the next question which building on this map is the farthest from the mina bazar and the last question is about how far is lahori gate from diwan e khas let's find both this answer from map so for that we have to open map 4 the first question is the building which are far away from mina bazar so from map we can see that these four buildings or five buildings are farthest from mina bazar and for the last question where we have to find the distance between lahori gate and diwan e khas for that we have to locate first lahori gate so on the bottom of the map here it is the lahori gate and where is the diwan e khas on the top of the map so first we have to start from lahori gate and trace till diwan e khas so if we start from lahori gate to the distance of rang mahal then it is around 6 cm i have measured using scale and from rang mahal to diwan e khas it is only about 1 cm so 6 plus 1 cm is 7 cm so as given at the bottom of the map the 1 cm is equal to 100 m so 7 cm will be 7 multiplied by 100 that is 
सेवन हंड्रेड मीटर ओके बच्चा पार्टी इन दिस वे यू कैन रीड एनी मैप एंड फाइंड एनी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर विद दिस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आवर सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर एट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड एवरी टॉपिक एवरी मैप एंड इफ स्टिल एनी वन हैज़ एनी डाउट प्लीज कमेंट डाउन बिलो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग टिल नेक्स्ट पार्ट स्टे हेल्दी स्टे फिट